Hello and welcome to the University of Guyana. I am making this video to help you because I noticed that some of you are having problems with the timetable. Now first we will start with interpreting the course code. Alright, now on the timetable you see a lot of things looking like this. This is an example of one of the courses you will be doing, Engineering Math 1100. Now, in every course code, the first digit it represents the year in which the course is being done. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, the year in the program. And the second digit represents the semester. So since you're a first year student, in your first semester, every course you'll be doing, whether it's chemistry, physics, math, civil, electrical, mechanical, they will all start, they will all have a one as the first digit being a first year course, and a one as a second digit being a, sec, a first semester course. We'll ignore these two digits for now. All right, now, on the timetable, it might seem confusing because every course for every program in technology is on that timetable. So you might also see EMT for the 100, ELP to the 106, ELT to the 100, ELE to the 104, a lot of other numbers. But you ignore everything that does not have a 1 as the first digit that would mean it is not a first year course so that alone made the timetable a whole lot easier good um now after the course number you might see a letter l in bracket okay, or a t now when you see it when you see an l it means that that class is a general lecture if there's no L, it also means it is a general lecture. If you see a T, it means it's a tutorial. Oh, there's also this. This means it's a lab session. Alright. Now, general lectures, you have to go this with that. That's where the actual course content is taught. Where they keep moving on, moving forward. That's where did the, there's a time slot where you would do exams, etc. Tutorials are classes, classes which supplement the general lecture. In tutorials, you clarify things you would not understand. This is where you have more of an interaction between the tutor and the student. If the, in the general lecture, there's something you don't understand. If there is time, you can ask it in the general lecture, but because the like the sesh, the class sometimes are so big 200 to 300 students there's not enough room for everyone to ask your questions so you go to a tutorial and you ask your questions there no for a particular course for example chemistry or physics you might see like about five different tutorial times now you don't have to go to five tutorials, you only choose one. The reason why there are so many tutorial slots on the timetable is because they want the class to split themselves up into small groups. So a tutorial should just have like about 20 students, right? So yes, the tutorial just for personalized attention so you can grasp everything that is done in the general lecture. This does not mean you will skip tutorials. Please find a tutorial and get yourself in the tutorial. It will help you. New material is not taught in the tutorials. They just uh, it just supplements what is taught in the general lecture. So you get a firm grasp before the general lecture has a next class and they go forward. Right. Um, Labs, you will see multiple lab sessions sometimes, like you will see multiple tutorials. Again, you choose one, don't go to more than one. One tutorial per week, one lab session per week. Um, if you see a subject you're doing with a T or a lab that, that, and there's a clash, 
Don't panic, just look for a next slot where there's no clash. And that would solve your problem. Alright. <clears throat> That's just a code. Alright, now, on your timetable, after you have this, this, and this, next thing you will see is the room names. Now, room names you would see as technology students are, first of all, you will see T1, TC1 to 5. That is in the main building of technology where the dean's office is and the assistant dean and the administrative office. TC1 to 5 is on the wing that runs north to south. You will also see T104 and T204 on your timetable. That is in the same building, the same main building, but on the wing that runs east to west. T104 is the lower flat of the building. The first floor and T204 is the upper level or the second floor. Yes, uh, you will also see TL3 to 5, I think, and DR. Now, TL is the technology labs and DR is drawing room. Both of those numbers are referred to the building that is southernmost in our campus which is the first building you would see if you use a Sophia entrance to the University of Guyana so you see classes there uh, sorry you see those those and those uh, that code TL or DR that's the building you have to go to the southernmost building on campus other rooms you would see on your timetable CBG uh, to get to CBG, you use the northern entrance of UG. You where the bus enters into the compound. And you turn right, you pass the bus stop, pass the main guard hut, and you keep going straight. In instead of turning left to head up to technology, you keep going straight. Uh, you will see a roadblock. You keep going on foot, and you will see the center for information technology. You turn left and in front of you you will see the CBJ building the first the, the ground floor is CBJ 1 CBJ 2 and 3 is on the first floor and second floor I think all right finally you will see GWLT which is a George, the George Walcott lecture theater that is adjacent to the parking lot very easy to find right in front of UG there um, Anything else I have to speak about? Okay, RC right, so will be seeing me quite a few times this semester. I will be doing EMT 1100 with you. The first class is this Thursday at T in T104 from 900 hours to 1100 hours. Be there, walk with a new book a calculator and a handout that would be in the printery come expecting to learn a lot the second year second class would be in cbj1 on friday morning from 10 hundred hours to 1200 hours so uh yes so please be on time for classes. Please don't miss any class. Oh, I would say UG usually goes. UG does not teach hard hard things. Every course would start off on CXC level, and then it goes one step at a time. If you miss lectures. Or don't go to tutorials as you miss one lecture you do this to yourself if you miss a second lecture you do this to yourself all right and then you have to go from this level CXC to here by yourself and that's why people do bad missing lectures or missing tutorials so please be diligent do good and I will see you for EMT 1100 on Thursday morning. Bye-bye.